Hi folks, Tyler Capozzi here today with the Devin Graham Signature Series Glide Cam. So this is going to be not only a review of this Glide Cam, but also a compare and contrast with the Glide Cam HD 4000. I've owned both of these for several years now, so I'm gonna show you some of the different things that I like about it, give you a review, and also compare the two for those who might be on the fence on which one to get. Firstly, I wanna note on the Devin Graham model is that there are only one, two adjustment knobs. This moves right to left, this moves forward and backward for when you are balancing the camera. On the 4000 model, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten adjustment knobs. So quite a bit when you're first getting it balanced. I much prefer this one. Way simpler, one and two, and that's it. So that's a big improvement in my opinion. Next up is the payload capacity. The Devon Graham model will hold between two and 12 pounds and the 4000 model holds between four and 10 pounds. So Devon Graham model is gonna have a little bit wider of a range, but pretty much any DSLR style camera is going to be within that payload. Next up is the head itself. As you can see, this one is way smaller and it also includes a quick release plate. It's a Manfrotto style plate and there are small numbers written along the side of it. So if you were to pop the plate off, you put it on a tripod and then you put it back on here, you know exactly where it needs to be for your balance. The 4000 model, however, includes what is called a cheese plate. There's a ton of holes in there and you're pretty much free to mount any plate you want on there however you want. If you look, mine's slightly offset because I was using a Panasonic GH3 and the battery grip on that, the quarter 20 thread, is a little bit offset to the side so I could offset my tripod plate so my camera would then be centered. So this one does give you a little bit more options if you're looking for some type of custom mount or something like that. One of the other new features of the Devon Graham model is the ability to have what's called low mode enabled. And if you look, there are numbers along the side of it and there are two knurled knobs right here. So if you loosen those up, you can now adjust the system's vertical balance up and down. So if you go near the bottom of it, you then have the ability to flip your camera upside down and have it be somewhat balanced. It's obviously not perfect, but it's essentially like what's called a mouse cam. So if the lens is like right up to the ground, otherwise you're gonna be, you know, two or so feet is gonna be the closest you can get. So it is a cool feature. On the 4000 model, however, you can't do that because it is fixed in place. As you can see, it doesn't adjust at all. You can flip it upside down. It's just gonna be a lot more awkward, kind of like an upside down top almost, because it's very top heavy. So pretty cool feature on the Devon Graham model. Now the bases on the 4000 versus the Devon Graham model. The 4000 base is a little bit bigger. Devon Graham is a little bit smaller, both in length and in width. Not a big deal, but it's worth mentioning. Also, the Devon Graham model does include a case. It's just padded foam. The big disadvantage for me is that you have to strip the entire thing down to put it away. Um, there are little cutouts in there for every single piece. So honestly, I've not used it one time in all my years of owning it. And that's pretty much the reason why, because you have to take it completely apart. If I am gonna break it down at all, which again, I rarely ever do, all I'm doing is taking off the head and taking off the base and then leaving the center shaft as it is. And that's pretty much it. But again, I rarely do that either. I pretty much always leave it completely together. As far as the price goes, Devon Graham model runs $7.99 brand new. 4,000 model, it's technically discontinued, but there are still a ton of them floating around out there. It's usually running around $500. Um, they still have them used and new and refurbished, so again, there's a lot out there. The other Glide Cam worth mentioning is the Glide Cam HD Pro. That one also runs $499. It's kind of a combination between the two. It has this style head, but it does not have the vertical balance on it, so you don't have the ability to do the low mode. A couple other notes worth mentioning are the rubber feet on them right there. Those have fallen off on me quite a bit. So at local hardware stores, like this one right here is actually a replacement one I got. Um, they're pretty cheap and then I just sharpied it black. And like one right there, it's completely missing. So those tend to fall off a lot. So keep that in mind, you might need to replace them. Um, the other thing is the little nut right here. This one hasn't been a problem for me, but on the 4000 model, if you look, I actually gaff taped it 
because otherwise it clanks into the center shaft, makes noise and it scuffs it up. But if you look, that dampens it quite a bit and that way it's also not going to scuff up my glide cam. Also, if you know how I have them standing right now, it's on just a simple plain old light stand. So that's a great way if you want to store them or for balancing it in particular. Once you have your camera on and you go to balance it, you really have to have it perfectly still if you want to get it perfectly balanced. So this is a great way to get it balanced when you're first doing that. Now, what I'll leave you with is both of these are capable of getting the exact same shot once they are properly balanced. So which one should you get? Well, it depends on two main things, your budget and your camera payload. Personally, I'm leaning towards the Devon Graham Signature Series model, but that's up to you. Also give a shout out to them, Devon Graham and Team Supertramp. One, for being the inspiration behind this glide cam, and two, for inspiring me to start using the glide cam. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.